I always wanted to make a cocoa bar in my kitchen for my family and I finally did. But instead of doing a circular bar, I did a heart-shaped bar. I used Mod Podge, paint, and napkins, and most of the things came from the Dollar Tree. And of course, I'm using the decoupage method. Welcome to my channel, Decoupage DIY with Joe Marie Domino. I'm going to show you how you can make this. We're gonna fill it up and then I have a few surprises. I got two wooden hearts from the Dollar Tree. This is how I'm going to be making my tray. And the first thing we wanna do is give it a coat of white paint. You can use any paint that you have. I happen to have chalk paint, so that's what I'm going to use. Now, because this wood is so light, we're only going to need to do one coat per heart. I put a layer of white paint on both hearts and now it's dry and it's time for me to put on the Mod Podge. I'm gonna take it out of the bottle. I'm gonna squirt it on. And by the way, while I'm doing this, I wanna tell you, if you use Mod Podge a lot, um, they sell these at the Dollar Tree and buy it just for the bottle. Take it from a big bottle, put it into this bottle because what happens is if you keep using and dipping your brush into a bottle, it gets contaminated and it starts to smell. And I keep wanting to tell you this tip and I keep forgetting um, and I'm telling you now. So when you go get one of these at the Dollar Tree and then just keep filling it up. Okay, so I'm gonna put on two coats of the Mod Podge. I'm going to do it on both of the hearts I'm gonna let it dry between each coat. Both hearts now have two coats of Mod Podge on it. I let it dry between each coat. Now you might be wondering, how am I gonna decoupage these if the glue is dry? Well, because I'm going to use my favorite technique, which is the iron-on technique. I'm using this little craft iron. This iron is by Cricut. I love it. I've had it over a year. I use it almost every day and it works really, really well. There's three settings for heat. And when it's orange like that, it's not ready. When it turns green, then it's going to be ready. So while that's warming up, I want to show you some of the napkins that I chose. I'm going to go back to the one that I already did. And you can see I chose two different napkins. Well, I chose different napkins for this one. And I also picked two different ones. So out of a big pile and many more than this, um, these are the two napkins I decided on. So this is the smaller one. So I'm going to be using a beverage size napkin and I wanna point something out to you. With this napkin and this napkin too, when you open it up, the design goes all the way across. Some napkins, when you buy it, each panel is exactly the same. So it doesn't give you that um, impression of it just being one big piece. So when you're looking to do something like this, try to find a napkin where the image just goes straight across. Okay. First thing we do is we have to separate the napkin. We're going to remove the plies. Let's see, I'm using a little bit of decoupage glue. Okay, not enough on the cap. So since the decoupage glue is already there on your craft table, I'm just gonna pull it apart like that. Now, this one might have another ply. It feels like it does. Let's see. Eh, see that? It did. Oh, my iron's ready. Okay. So you want to make sure you get all of the plies off because we only want the top one on it. All right. So I'm using the beverage size one on the smaller one. And I'm going to put it on. I'm going to try to kind of line it up where I want it. Um, I don't want to get the border in there, so we'll do that. Now I'm going to put on a piece of baking parchment. The baking parchment is going to protect the iron and the napkin because the iron is very, very hot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the heat from the iron and I'm going to go over the heart. And what's happening is that um, Mod Podge, it's on there already. And even though it's dry, 
is going to get reactivated by the heat in the iron and it's going to adhere very nicely to this heart and i love this technique i do it all the time if you watch my videos um, you already know that it does such a great job on flat things practically wrinkle free and if you're big with decoupage you know those pesky wrinkles we don't like that so just go over the whole heart make sure you pay attention to the edges because you want to make sure that it's adhered right to the edges okay put the iron aside look at this the iron has the cutest little holder okay gonna move that out and remember always have something that's for, can protect your hands when it's something that's hot and there you go. Look how nice that is. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, now we're gonna put that off to cool and we're gonna go ahead and now do the big one, the big heart. Okay, so I had to choose a bigger napkin. Oops, sorry about all the noise. And this is the one that I chose. It's beautiful, I absolutely love it. And again, the um, roses go straight across the napkin, so it's a great choice. So we're just gonna lay it down like this. Get it lined up the way we want it. Again, we're going to put down our parchment, baking parchment. Okay, make sure you get baking parchment. Like that. We're going to protect everything. We're going to go back to the iron. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to take the iron and go over the heart, making sure we do the edges. And while I'm doing this, the glue is melting and that napkin is adhering. Okay, both of the hearts are now cooled and I'm ready to remove this extra napkin. And how I'm going to do that is with a nail file. I picked this nail file up at the Dollar Tree. It's by the nail polishes and it does a really good job. So you're gonna take the file and you're just gonna go like this downward. And you can see a little more that the napkin is coming away. This the uh, extra piece there so we can have a nice clean edge Look how nice that looks so much easier than using the scissor Look how nice those are. And I love that they're two different prints. All right, so now that I've removed the edge, the next thing I want you to do, since we're going to be putting things on it, is to put some sealant. I'm going to recommend a clear sealant. Um, Krylon has one, Rust-Oleum has one, and take it outside or someplace well ventilated. Um, when you spray, here, I'm gonna see if I can show you. Um, do about 12 inches and go across like this and do real light, light layers. And you wanna do three and let it dry between each layer. And then we can, once it's dry, we can go on to the next step. I'm going to finish off the edges of the heart by attaching some rope. And I'm going to do this with um, hot glue. So this is the rope that I'm using. You can use something else. I saw some really pretty shiny cording, which would probably be really nice. Um, I didn't have it, so I wanted to use what I had which was this rope. So I'm doing it on the edge. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it down like that. I'm just gonna press it down. If you notice on my finger, I have the finger protector because that hot glue is really, really hot. And <clears throat> as it is, I have a love-hate relationship with my heat gun. Okay, I'll do a little more. Oh, come on. There we go. See, I told you. I'm willing to admit I have a love-hate relationship with my glue gun. Okay, go over there. All right. I'm just going to attach it like that. Okay, and I'm doing it to the side. Just makes a nice, nice finishing touch. And these things really work. So if you don't have them with your stuff, get them. Um, I think the Dollar Tree sells them too, but I buy big packs on Amazon because I need them.
Okay. All right, I finished doing the edging on both hearts. Looks very, very nice. And now it's time to do the pedestal. What I'm using is a Dollar Tree candle holder. Look how nice this is. Whoever came up with this to use it as a pedestal is brilliant. Now, what you can do is you can leave it just like this, or you can paint it. I decided to paint mine. I did two coats of white paint. I used chalk paint. I put it on with the pouncer. And when that was completely dry, I went in and I did a little bit of pink as well. Okay, now to attach the pedestal, we're going to start with the small one. It's going to go underneath like this. Now, what I did is I kind of just eyeballed it so that was in the center. Um, I think you can do it too. Then I'm going to take a pencil because I thought once I have it in the right spot, which I think I got, uh, yep, I took a pencil and I went around it so that when I put the pedestal back down, it was in the right spot. You're not gonna see it anyway. Okay. Now, to glue it on, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna use E6000, which is a super heavy duty uh, glue. Um, it's going to go on there. It's going to take about 24 hours to cure, but when it does, it's going to stay on there. And I'll tell you, it's really good for things like glass. Okay, so I put that on. That's gonna take about 24 hours, but I want instant adhesion. So I'm gonna go back in with my glue gun. I'm gonna go like that. Lots of glue. I want it to stay on. Okay, and now I made the marks. So I'm just gonna line it up. I'm gonna press it down. I'm gonna press it down hard. Um, I'm just going to wait for the glue, the hot glue, to harden. All right, now I'm doing the same thing with the bottom heart. I kind of eyeballed the center and then I took a pencil and I very lightly traced it. So then when I put the glue on, I'm gonna know just where to put it. This one is all glued down now, but I don't want to touch it for like 24 to 48 hours because again, that E6000 glue has to cure. I put a nice heavy can of paint on it to keep it down so that, um, you know, it's going to adhere good. And then I can go ahead on to the next step, which is putting the feet on. And by the way, I am loving that color combination. All right, so I'm going to go back to the one that I had already ready so I can show you some of the things we can do with it now. This was the E6000 and the hot glue, and it's been at least a couple of days, so we're good to go. Now, when I first did this, I'm going to have Art come back over here. I didn't like how it looked when it was flat against the table, so I decided I wanted to add some feet. And I'm going to turn this over so you can see I did two. These are the tumbling tower blocks you can get these from the dollar tree as well and they come in a box you get a whole bunch of them so i put them around i did hot glue with these all the way around the edge i did it around the edge because i wanted some support because i'm going to be putting things on top of it and i also did one in the center so all you have to do is again with your glue gun just take it run it across one of the little blocks very simple and then just put them together like that. And then just turn it over. Now I'm telling you to do the feet after this cools because the first time or cures, the first time I did it, I didn't do that. And trying to get the pedestal to stay on with these feet was really challenging. So the feet are like one of the last things you wanna do. Okay, I'll just put a little glue. On this one, I'll put one more on, it doesn't matter. By the way, I use um, Gorilla Glue, which I really, really like. I would still use the E6000 with the glass, but I love the Gorilla Glue, the hot glue gun, the glue sticks for the hot glue gun. Okay, so let's just give that a minute to uh, harden up. Okay, my cocoa bar is all done and I have it set up 
but I have a little twist in this. I didn't do a cocoa bar. I actually did a sweet, creamy strawberry bar, and I'm gonna show you that, and I'm gonna make it for you. I'm gonna show you what you can do. It's kind of fancy, but I wanna go through the things I have up on top first. Um, this is a little sign I got it from my neighbor. The Dollar Tree has something very, very similar to it. This is a can I painted. These are just paper straws that I cut. This little box is also from the Dollar Tree. It's brown. I painted it white. I put little chocolates in. And in the bottom one, I have these little strawberry candies. These are dried strawberries. And that is from the Dollar Tree. It's a candle holder. This is also from the Dollar Tree. And that has red sugar in it. Down at the bottom, I have some chocolate kisses. And this is also in a glass dish I got at the Dollar Tree. They come in packs of four. And over on the other side, I have some animal cookies. Now, this ended up not being big enough. However, I did add some candles, so I wanted to look really pretty. So I kind of ran out of room, but that's okay. I made another one. I just did the bottom one, and I put the little feet on it. I did three feet, so it would be a little bit higher. So now, again, I got the glass from the Dollar Tree, and there's marshmallows, white and pink. Um, another can I just painted and I put some cookies in there and then of course I'm going to have some coasters. Coasters are something I have a video for already. I love them. They're very easy to make so make sure you watch that video and I also have cookies and again I still needed more space. This plate is one of my plates. I use the reverse decoupage and you know I have a video on that as well. All right so I have some cups here. I'm going to take my strawberry powder and my spoon. Okay, I'm gonna make one for me and one for Art. I'm gonna put some in there. Oh my God, you should smell this. It smells so awesome. Okay, maybe a little bit more. Okay. Top that off. All right, now some hot milk. One for Art and now one for me. All right, I'm gonna put it here. Now, the little paper straws, you can stir like this. And one for art. Then, I'm gonna take some marshmallows because I want it to look pretty. I'm gonna put some marshmallows on top and because the milk is hot, those marshmallows are going to melt because it's just not sweet enough, right? And then I'm gonna take these little heart-shaped marshmallows I'm gonna pop them right on top. So now it's gonna taste good and it's going to look good as well. That is so cute. Um, again, I did it with a little twist because I did it with strawberry. You can do one of these for anything you want. You can do hot cocoa, you can do um, coffee, and in the summer and in the spring, you could do lemonade and pink lemonade. So you have lots of different options making the table because the table part with the decoupage is really what I wanted you to I get my beautiful napkins from Vippy's Designs. They have lots and lots of napkins. Visit their website, www.vippies.com and take a look at what they have. I hope I inspired you to make one of these and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Decoupage DIY with Jo Marie Domino. Hit the little bell so you'll get reminders every time I put a new video on and please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up and put in a comment like, do you have one of these bars already in your kitchen? Maybe you can tell us what you put in. I want to thank Art for doing such a great job. He's going to get some strawberry drink now. And thank you so much for watching my video.